So it's better for you to, like Jesus said, do not gather for yourself wealth or treasure on earth. Because here on earth, things that you do, you gather on earth physically like that, they will disappear. Thieves will take them, mall will take them, and will eat them up, and they will be depleted. But if you really want to live in time and eternity, gather your riches and your treasure in heaven. Do good to people. Invest your time and your life in other people. Help people to develop, help people to grow. Go and help underprivileged people. Go and study some more. Get some wisdom. Study some books. You know, give some help to somebody. These are the things that last for time to come. But unfortunately, external extravagance has deceived a lot of people. So you see a lot of people spending their time and their resources on clothes, on shoes. <laughs> like the other day I said, in, that in uh, America, I discovered that between 60 to 80% of all the shoes are being bought by black people. <laughs> they are not thinking of producing shoes, they are just buying them. <laughs> Why some people are making the money from them. So, <laughs> you know, those, because they are, these are external extravagance. Eastern extravagance. Some people just want to have a big house. Some people are dreaming of living in a eyebrow areas. These are external extravagance. They bring you to bankruptcy. They deplete you. They, they ruin your life. They ruin your children's life. It's a misplaced priority to live for external priority, uh, external extravagance. So when you, you know, if, when you value things that have ex external extravagance than the value systems that are not visible, like work, like diligence, like skills, like being seeking God, like solitude, when you don't value those things, you have nothing to fall back on. But when you have solitude, when you have hard work, when you have diligence, you will always be needed every time, everywhere you are. 